on the form 12S meter. You can see it right here. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pull the meter, we're gonna check the voltage to show you the meter application with the correct form. Okay. As you can see in this meter pan, this is an HQ5 meter pan. They added the fifth lug in here, okay? So you have five lugs on the back of this. This is the fifth lug. You have one, two, three, four, five. They call that the fifth lug. And that's gonna go in just like this plugged in and it'll be the ground for the potential coils. So you're supposed to, the service would come up and you would check the voltages. And these are gonna be your voltages. This is your ground. So you're gonna go phase the ground. Hundred and twenty volts. Okay. Phase the ground, hundred and twenty-three volts. Phase to phase, we have two hundred and ten volts. So this is a one twenty two oh eight service. What we have a problem with is servicemen come in there and they put in a form 2S, which is a 240 volt meter. These meters, when plugged into this situation, they will light up and I'm gonna show you, it'll light up. So the meter lights up, the serviceman thinks he did everything right, but he did not check the voltages correctly. And this is a Y network 12208 instead of a 240 volt delta service this meter will meter but it's it'll have um it only meter like 86 percent because of the vectors the way the phase angle vectors fall in on this type of meter compared to the 12s meter so this is the incorrect application to the meter but the meter does light up when you plug it in okay this is the correct meter voltage application it has two potential coils one on the left side one on the right they designed to, to meter each phase correctly with each current correctly this network service we're talking about is typically found in businesses that are located in downtown areas or businesses located in industrial parks or apartment complexes the reason for this is that many of these businesses do not require full three-phase service. So the utility just takes two legs off of it and a neutral to the nearest transformer and they serve the customer with that Y voltage. In this picture here, we're looking at a Form 12S meter. It can be used in a Y service to meter or a Delta service. But in the video that we showed earlier, it was on a Y service. So let's talk about Y service. We have line one is 120 volt leg coming in and line two is another 120 volt leg coming in and across phase to phase, since it is a Y, it's 208. The ground and lug position can either be on the very bottom of the meter pan or to the left hand side. As you can see, it has alternate positions. As we look at the meter form itself, you can see that we have available two potential coils and two current coils. Each potential coil is with its own current coil. So it's the very simplest form of meter and the voltage and the current is all that's needed for each phase. One of the most common mistakes we find, a serviceman will accidentally plug in a form 2S meter at this single phase service. And although it's a three wire service, the form 2S meter is not capable of dealing with the difference in the phase angles provided by the transformer bank. And it'll result in only a 75% registration during balanced load conditions. So we're losing revenue in this application. It's very important that we put the correct form with the correct service type. And being that this is a Y system, it needs a Y12S application. 12S meter is also used for Delta services, three-phase, three-wire services. It's the exact same wiring. The only difference is phase to ground, you're gonna get the same voltage, you're gonna get phase to ground, you're gonna get phase to phase. So if it's in a 240 volt service, you're gonna get 240 to ground, 
240 to ground and 240 to phase to phase. There's no difference in the wiring and you should get the same voltage. A little two phase three wire vector diagram just to show you in case someone ever has to add up the watts. What we're looking at here is a, on two phase three wire we have voltage A at zero degrees, voltage B at 120 degrees, we have current A lagging voltage A by 25 degrees. We have current B lagging voltage B by 29 degrees. So what we wanted to figure was the watts. So what we do is for A phase, we take 120 volts times 55 amps times cosine of the angle, and we got 5,981 watts. For B phase, we take the 120 volts, we multiply it times the 55 amps, and times the cosine of 29 degrees, and here we get 5,772 watts. So we could total this up, and we'll get 11,753 watts total power being used at this site.